The FBI has released some disturbing information related to the late singer Whitney Houston. This is another uh, bizarre story, and it's uh, obviously coming out after her untimely death. The file contains 128 pages of letters sent from one man who called himself a loner from Vermont to Whitney Houston. Now, in them, the self-proclaimed Houston fan promised to uh, to do something crazy like hurt someone if Houston didn't respond to his letters. Goodness. The FBI also investigated someone who threatened to spill personal dirt on Whitney Houston to the tabloids. As if that never happened in yeah, a celebrity's really. career, right? Well, yeah. the times have changed and fans are more likely to send tweets or post on Facebook than send letters. But these decades old FBI files reveal what she was dealing with at the time at the pinnacle of her career. Wow. Uh, and, you know, we all know she led a troubled life, very difficult uh, at times. And Osama bin Laden was one of her big fans. Too. Oh, is that right? Oh, really? Yes, I didn't know was. that. I yes. did not know that. Huh. Goodness. He was very fond of Whitney. Hmm. Well, she had a lot of fans. Mm -hmm. And uh, a tremendous well, see, career. that's one of the things you're going to only learn right here. Right <laughs> on the next show. Day. I didn't even know that. <laughs> and now I hold you on. ever had a stalker? Oh, or someone God. who's so, said, but you yes. have. Well, yes. I have. <laughs> Actually, yes. Uh, yeah, related to this show. But that's another oh, story. This yes. show. This oh, show, no. yes. Dear. I have had a stalker. She showed up at the house three times in mm -hmm. one weekend. Oh, no. And your yes. house. What was her complaint? She was complaining about, let's see, what show? Remington Steel. Remington Steel. She wanted they to know why this. Canceled Remington Steel. Channel took Remington she Steel. She wanted to go to Jeff's house. And she and tracked us down. She finally <laughs> confronted my wife on Sunday morning at our front door. <laughs> That's not funny. No, That's scary. Well, she was very nice, very polite about it. I but don't she. Care. That's scary. So maybe we shouldn't have given out Jeff's address <laughs> on the air. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. But yeah. now, seriously, though, you, you have had a, a stalker. I had one. In fact, when I was at Channel 8, Troy, yes, I think, yeah, there, I was, that. there was a guy who was mentally disturbed. Mm -hmm. He thought he was Jesus Christ. He actually showed up in the lobby at Channel 8 one time. He'd always bring yeah, me these boxes yeah. of weird things. He dropped his pants and had nothing on under them. Mm. They took him off to Parkland for Goodness. evaluation. The guy, and, and the reason it's not funny is that the guy eventually ended up killing his mother mm, and his sister. Mm, oh my God! And their complaint was that whenever they took him to Terrell, they would only keep him for a short period of time, mm -hmm. and then they would release him. Mm. Wow. And he'd come home and sleep on his mother's sofa and that sort of thing. And eventually, he ended up. And they, they, you know, they told authorities for years, "We're afraid of this guy," mm -hmm. but. You know, they would always release him. He'd come back home to his mm. mother's house, mm. and he eventually killed his mother. And his oh my gosh! So and his fixation scary. with Channel Eight he, was he contacting you? Oh, was there oh, some yes. message yeah. he wanted it to? Was Iola. Yeah. yeah. He would send me boxes of strange things, just yeah, various articles and little letters, trinkets and oh, things, yeah. and shoe boxes. Yeah. yeah. And just well, we've scary. seen stories in the media before mm -hmm. about a, a person, a stalker, maybe deranged or not, who's fixated on someone simply because they happen to show up in in the box, you know, mm -hmm. on television, yeah. and how normally there's no contact, but unfortunately, sometimes there are mm -hmm. issues of contact, mm -hmm. so well, all it right. can be terribly dangerous. I was going to say, is it safer being a man and a married man, but apparently not. Mm -hmm. no, apparently not. That's what no. like you Jeff. No. No. <laughs> that is... Well, and this, and, you know, the thing that caused me concern was that she was able to track us down. I mean, mm -hmm. we had, I hadn't shared my address on the show, but... Mm -hmm. right. By social media, white pages, you yeah, can find these people. Really people know where you are. Yes, yeah. yes. There's uh -huh. no hiding. There's these no days. hiding anymore.